Hi everybody, this is Mr. Williams here to tell you about the summarizer role. The summarizer role is pretty basic. You're going to summarize the reading. You start at the top with three or four points of important information, then you summarize in a paragraph for what happened in the chapter. And your job is really to clarify, clarify confusing information, make sure everyone understands the main points. It's all about making sure that when the story starts and the discussion starts, that everyone knows what happened in the story. Now, this job is pretty straightforward, but there is a little bit of a caveat to it, and that is that if the discussion leader is absent, you become discussion leader by default. So you have to be prepared to lead a discussion, even though that isn't technically your job. How are you graded for this? First of all, the top section is always going to be worth 20%. You need to make sure you put your name and the pages or the chapter that you summarized. You need to have at least three important events in that top bulleted section, and they have to be key events for you to get full credit. And likewise, the summary needs to be at least five sentences, and those sentences need to be important information in the chapter. And if your summary is not in paragraph form for that 50%, you will lose points. So once again, summarizers, this job is, is relatively straightforward, but you do need to make sure you do a good job with it. Find the most important details, make sure they're bulleted, make sure you have those details in your summary and just make sure that you're prepared, just in case the discussion leader is absent, to take on a discussion leader role.